camera's pointed. It's not just existing. But that inherent bias is kind of something that's good to capitalize on. That's kind of the point of it. started skating and skating leads you to want to document it. So you see some photos and videos and then skating kind of connects me to everything else. I don't know. Met a lot of like the painters and drawers and photographers, and videographers that I think are interesting through skateboarding. No, I mean I feel present when I'm skating. Like, very present. It's like I can make myself calm down. Cause like a lot of stuff, it's like the gnarlier it gets, the more hard headed you get, just like going for it. You just keep eating shit. And like that moment of clarity where you just like figure it out and then you can do it. It's like a calm that is hard to find in life. And just like the feeling of like knowing, I don't know. Cause it's kind of funny. It's like, I can't imagine doing skateboarding tricks when I'm not skating because it doesn't make sense and it is silly, but it all connects. I mean, it's all something that like, I have control over and can like, I don't know, like I can do my tricks the way I do my tricks and like nobody can like change that. Nobody can change the way I draw. Nobody can change the way I take photos. And so there are things that I can like curate to show, I don't know, however I feel. But there's also a lot about like, it's like crossover with everything, like taking photos and composing photos, like the way you have to like squish your environment because it's so layered to get the things to line up that like comes in well with drawings. Cause it's like, I don't know, when drawing you force a composition out of nothing and like, I don't know. The going back and forth between those two things like makes me think about the composition. I don't know, I just like doing it. I kinda, I don't know. Sometimes like a lot of big photo shit just feels really weird to me and feels kind of forced. I just see, I don't know. I'd much rather a lot of the time just look at like my friends' photographs of their friends than look at a lot of big photographers because things just, end up feeling like monuments to something that isn't anything. A monument to ideas, I don't know, harder to connect to. I don't know, it's like I can photograph for as long as I'm able to photograph, but assuming I live to old age, there's gonna be a time where I have to like sit around and it'd be nice to just have all this shit, whether or not I sort through it or not till then. The photos that end up being the more important ones usually are like the photographs of my friends, and like the people that I'm close to. But a lot of traffic cones, dogs behind fences, a lot of yards. I've been photographing my friend Ricky's family a lot. That's been really nice. It's it's strange being able to like like having people that I've photographed now for like five or six years and then being able to just like go and look through and it's like, here's them as a kid and they're doing this and they're doing that. And then just seeing as that builds and all of the networks cross, it's been strange, but nice. It's also nice photographing things that I feel like will be important to not only me because they're, you know, they're family photos. It's documenting like what is theirs. It's not like just me making something, you know? And there's also something nice about like, cause I use both digital and film, but most of the photo stuff is film. And it's nice how that 
can degrade and it can warp and it can get leaks and this and that and that kind of like you know memories and life I don't know if degrade is the best word for it but you know things change and everything kind of moves and photos are just memories and I do kind of like how all of those errors that can come out of using like unpredictable lesser good quality equipment adds like it reminds you of that in my like closest friend simon kingston just died and throughout our friendship like I have thousands thousands of photos in the last like year or so we lived together i didn't take too many photos and i regret that now but it's nice being able to like I don't know. I have something I can give to my friends of like photos of them and him and memories and this and that. Because nothing is permanent and everything is gonna degrade, but the photos are still there at least. A lot to sort through though. <laughs> Once the time has passed, the photos can't be taken. And but also with that, like if all the time passes, those photos are being taken that is also can be nauseating. Like looking through a camera too much is a bad thing. It can be a bad thing. Cause like art is beautiful and being able to document things is very special, but things also not being documented sometimes helps you be special. Kind of just gonna keep doing the same thing. I mean the same thing, not like literally, but the same, I mean, skateboarding and drawing and photos have been kind of my way of like navigating the world and as the world changes as I navigate it they're gonna still help me navigate it in some way.